Hey, what's up you guys? It's Taylor here at Casone's RV. Behind me, I have a 2009 Fleetwood Discovery 40G. This Fleetwood has got two slide outs. It's got one over here on the driver's side, located right behind the driver's seat there. It goes about uh, half of the length of the RV. And then we've got one full wall slide over on the other side, which I'll show you here in just a second. We do have uh, one full, wall, full slide out tray and one half slide out tray. This is the uh, kind of the, well, I guess it's not a full slide out tray because you have a half piece that comes out on this side and then the other piece that comes out on this side so it's not totally attached, but. Sorry, I had that loud air compressor in the background. Um, but basically it's not totally attached. You kind of have two different uh, sections to the slide out tray. One that pulls over here, out here on this side and then one that pulls over on that side. They have just some, a uh, bunch of chairs on the, uh, on the top of it, on, on it right now, uh, but. We'll be getting rid of those when we go to sell it. Here's the other slide-out tray. Not a full slide-out tray, but kind of like a three-four slide-out tray that comes out over on this side of the RV. We'll walk around the back side here and take a look at the other side. Got that noisy air compressor back here again. This is powered by the 350 Cummins motor. It is on the Freightliner chassis. This is your full wall side over here on this side, and it makes for a whole lot of room on the inside of the RV. You'll see here in a second. It's really spacious, um, I would say, on the inside as far as um, just the layout that they've done with the RV and just kind of the room on the inside. Pretty uh, basic colors that I've seen Fleetwood do a lot with the uh, black and um, kind of like maroon striping, just some grays. Um, I've seen this on Founders, Fleetwoods, um, a lot of Fleetwood products. Going on the inside here, we do have some controls here. Just some switches, your entry step, your porch, your ceiling, and your uh, light, your luggage lights. So we've got these two front seats. They're still in pretty good condition. Uh, not really any scratching or peeling or anything like that. They do have like a, you do have a foot extension right here for the passenger seat. Again, this is on the Freightliner chassis. You can see that there on the steering wheel. This has only got 42,000 like 100 miles on it you do have the Voyager backup camera right there you've got the radio here as well these are some really big front seats too as well lots of space on both the passenger and the driver's seat super comfortable behind the driver's seat we do have a uh, refrigerator the two-door we've got just your freezer and your refrigerator on either side this is a Dometic refrigerator we do have the pantry right next door to it with these uh, pull out little pantry shelves that they've uh, put in there. I think they did come with the RV like that. I don't know if they did put in these baskets or they've replaced them with these baskets and they just had shelves in there before, but they've got baskets in there now. Kind of your pantry, one above the other right there. And one of the really special things about this living space, which I've seen in, again, Fleetwoods in more in particular, is this wraparound booth dinette. Most of the time, if it's just two people, they're going to use these really big and uh, basically couch pieces here. But if you have a family with you, if you have uh, kids, they're going to uh, kind of be on the inside probably, I would assume. But you've got a lot of space to actually get around the boot dinette because I find that a lot of times with boot dinettes, people complain it's hard to, you know, move in and uh, around them, get through them. But um, this is uh, not wrap around boot dinettes because you don't see them that often, but just boot dinettes in general. Um, it's really, it was really easy for me to slide in and out of this uh, booth dinette, so I don't think you're going to have too much of a problem there. Again, really open floor plan, um, so like a lot of space in here. You do have the front two slides, which help with that, but I think uh, really what um, kind of makes it so spacious is the way that they've laid everything out. They've got just the uh, booth dinette and the couch kind of uh, buried into that slide and a straight line, nothing sticking out here, going right into the bathroom. And then also for the kitchen, kind of the same thing, lots of counter space, and they just made it go all the way straight down as opposed to having it at a certain angle. So that kind of makes for a lot more space here in the center. We do have two AC units. We've got one right above me and one right there, right before the bathroom there, ducted AC units. We do have an oven in this. We've got the 
convection oven as well. So actually you get a convection oven and an oven, which is usually rarity. Usually you just get one or the other. You've got lots of kitchen storage They're right down below. You do have the uh, two big uh, sink tubs here. You do have an older 2009 Samsung TV. That's kind of dating uh, everything a bit. Just having, you know, not only the box TVs, but just in 2009, seeing that they just had this edge around the TV and a camera on the bottom. I remember seeing Samsung TVs like that or having, I think even having one. You do have, um, I believe, uh, surround sound speakers. You got surround sound speaker right there, which you can control from the front. It will play through there. You've got some just cabinets right up above here. And kind of an interesting um, transition, again, from the living space to the bathroom, making it just super open. I mean, it's like a really big bathroom. You can close this section off. You can close uh, this door off and close it off to the bedroom. And then also in the center here, you can close it off just to the toilet and the shower and then have the sinks and still have pass through. So I really kind of like, I don't know if like I like the way that it looks so much as I like the, the uh, usability of it that you can, um, you know, have access from the bedroom use the bathroom, close this off, and then have, you know, access to the sinks of some of these in here, um, and more counter space. This is a, a makeup, uh, kind of a station. You've got the makeup lights and makeup mirror. It, obviously, you can put a, a chair there, but I just like that it's, uh, again, a, kind of an open concept that closes off so that you can still utilize that if you have people in the living room that you can uh, you know, close this section off and still use the section. You can almost use the section double, doubling as a bar section if you wanted to, as opposed to having it set up as a... Continue on with the bathroom section of the RV. Again, we've got that makeup mirror. We've got a sink in here, nice dresser drawers uh, below the sink, dresser drawers, drawers, whatever you want to call them. We've got the uh, toilet in here. We have another sink, so we do have two sinks, um, you know, and uh, a shower just again mentioning that you know you can use this bathroom if you have somebody in the living space you can use this bathroom you can shut off this bathroom and you can still access the back bedroom which is just a huge plus most rvs if you have a bathroom before the bedroom you have to go through or a lot of rvs you have to go through the uh, bathroom to get to the bedroom so it's nice that you can actually shut that off in the bedroom, we've got lots of walk-around space, a king-size bed. We only have one slide out here, back here, uh, but we have plenty of space around and in front of the bed. We do have a washer-dryer combination back here. Discovery and, uh, you know, all of Fleetwood's RVs, or seeming, you know, a lot of their RVs, always seem to have really good windows. We've got really nice windows up front. We've got a really nice window back here that is your emergency exit as well and we've got really nice closet space back here in the back with these shelves all right guys thanks for watching this video of this 2009 fleetwood discovery this rv is for sale if you have any questions about it you can reach out to us i will leave my phone number down in the description below as well as the website to take a look at it on there and make sure that it is still available feel free to give us a call at 480-357-5200 and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next time